Professor Banji Aketoye. Yes, he has reacted to the Owo massacre. Leader of the APS body for Yoruba Self Determination and Self Preservation Movement, Elano Modua, worldwide has condemned Sunday's terrorist attack on St. Francis Catholic Church, Owo, Undo State. Akitsuye, in a statement issued by Maxwell Adeleye, the secretary of the group, said the attack is a declaration of war on Yoruba people, adding that it is time to gain independence from Nigeria. The historian called on the state governor, Uluwaru Timiakeredolu, and other governors in the southwest region to declare an emergency against the activities of Fulani Esmen in the state. The statement said, We have stated we have stated it very clearly that the Yoruba people need to negotiate their exit from Nigeria as a matter of urgency, but our partisan political actors in Yoruba land never took us seriously because they are gaining and they are benefiting from what is happening. We warned them that there was fire on the mountain, but we were mocked because of their personal aggrandizement. And that's it. Today, we have all been encycled, most especially in Lagos. For us men to have your country to of bombarding a church in Yoruba land to kill about 85 people shows that we are now in a realistic danger. My urgent advice to Governor Akedolu is to pick up the gauntlet and declare the emergency against the activities of all Fulani herdsmen in the state with immediate effect, which he has done. We are now being taken for granted. We need not pretend anymore. We must demand unanimously an exit from Nigeria. We the Yoruba people cannot live in the same country with characters whose idea of common citizenship in Nigeria is to brutalize, subjugate and even exterminate us. It is time to leave these characters now. All stakeholders, the elite, traditional rulers, our women would act now. All the southwest states, including the Yoruba leaders in Kogi and Kwara state, should equally declare an emergency against the activities of Fulani Hesmen. We must now take our destinies in our land, in our hands. Did you hear what Ebuari said? That he didn't talk anything about how to get them arrested. Mm -mm, just on them. Uh, just take care of the wounded people. And that's all. Those who want to come out will take care of them. <laughs> Kama will take care of them. That is what he said. Now, Ondo Catholic Church attack is a declaration of war on Yoruba people. Who do a nation agitator, Professor Akitsuye, has said. Some of us don't even know what these people want. Please, let's call Minister of Bandits and Boko Haram, Mr. Gumi, to tell us what they want from us. <laughs> they said they want to turn you to, to Muslim. They want to do things in according to Islam. They want to be in charge of the government. That's what they want. Are you are you not aware of what they want? Are you still asking that kind of question? Are you still asking that kind of question? They told you long ago, surrender your land. That is it. According to Evil Femi Adesina, we said, you don't want to give them your land. That's it. Now it's as simple as that. They want to kill you and grab your land, therefore declaring it as a full and state. It is now on your court to mobilize your men in your community to search and take them out in your bushes and forests. If you see something, say something. Be your own army and police. Do not even wait for the Nigeria government. Arm to yourself. To protect yourself. Please be focused for once. Calling them, they ask for what is, uh, for what is time to collect. Okay, what is what I'm saying? Only if we vote any of the two blood feeling parties that brought us to where we are. Use your tongue to count your teeth. Tinubu and others are no different from Puhari. Yeah. So who do so who to vote now? Are you not seeing any are you not seeing people to vote? So apart from those people that will continue that will make you to continue to suffer, you want to continue to vote for them. You didn't see any other people. Our fertile land, but we won't give it to them. That is exactly what they want. They want our fertile land. Mazen Amdekaru prophesied about these calamities long time ago, but the useless political elites value their selfish political interests more than the lives of innocent civilians. 
this is the tip of the iceberg of what is yet to come. May the souls of the dead ones rest in peace. These Fulanis were intercepted sometimes in just the two states on their way to Undo State. The youth saw them and attacked them because of the weapons they saw. The government of Undo State came to claim that they are indigenous. Federal government backed them up. They were escorted from just to Akure by the police. Plato State, Deputy Governor, now you can see those you stood for as your indigenous. You can see them. You see those who, stood, who you stood for that you defended. My pain is that uh, with all these things, uh, nothing will happen. Uh, nothing will, no concrete action will be taken. When the federal government did not even do anything, is it the state government that will do? Because when Akhil Dolu was talking about how to get to the root of this thing, get uh, the people who are involved get them arrested people said how are you going to do it without the backing of the federal government which uh, security apparatus are you going to use and the federal government has taken position they are not ready to go after these people who is going to help us to divide this nonsense marriage we want divorce all northerners know about what happened today because akiti insisted that power must be zoned back to south that is the major concern about the attack. The jihadists are spreading their movement to the south. They are, they are not spreading. They are already there. Yoruba nation we want. When Saint Prophet Mian was shouting, the people said, kill him. Get him killed. He is a warmonger. He is a warmonger. Now it is glaring for everybody to see. They will not even appreciate it. That is the worst part of it. Forget it. They will not even appreciate that uh, somebody said this before now. And some people from the Yoruba, from Yoruba a, a, a region west southwest region some of people some of them are even saying some things like this would they listen to them they won't listen to them i think he they came from 16 african countries and had their meeting in abuja and everybody kept quiet i see no reason being together as one nation let the so-called country nigeria each and every region go its own way i wish before general election let this contraption nation fall apart enough is enough shedding of the blood of the innocent is enough if we had a supported if we are supported Sunday go this might not happen and they will tell you Sunday go is is doing too much it's doing too much it's doing too much okay when it happens in other states it is called terrorism but when it happens in southeast it will be called IPO they will judge and kill them without hearing from them the truth remains that country is not safe for anyone and every criminal should be made to face the law. The worst part of it is that they are not doing anything about it.